Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use if error function in Excel. Here I have some numbers in cell A2 to A4. Now let me show you how if error function works. So I type if error and I hit tab to autocomplete the function. If error function takes two arguments. First is the value uh, that you want to analyze and Another one is what you want to do if this value is an error. So let's see how this works. Uh, I use A2 and I divide it by A3. And I want Excel to check this condition. If this is an error, then this should say error in the cell. And I hit enter. Now you can see that it returns 10 which is this value because this value is not an error and hence it does not have to go to this uh, second argument but what if the first value is an error so let me show you how it works um, I select a3 and I divide it by 0 now if I divide any number by 0 I know this would be an error and I know this a3 by a4 is an error and in this case I again give the condition as error and I hit enter and you can see it displays error because this is what I asked it to do I told Excel that if this is if this value comes out to be an error then just display error in the cell and hence it does that now what if I do not tell it what to do if uh, there is an error so I use this condition and I again take a3 divided by a4 which is 10 by 0 but I do not specify any condition I leave it blank and I hit enter you can see that it will not accept it it says that there should be something mentioned but what if I just use a comma and I hit enter it returns a 0 so this argument the second argument is mandatory but you can leave it out and if you leave it out then it would automatically return a zero now a very important thing to note about if error is that this works only in Excel versions 2007 and above it will not work in uh, 95 or 97 so if in case you have these versions earlier versions you can use is error and combine it with if so uh, let me show you how I would use it in this case without an if error so I would use if and I would first analyze this condition and I would say is error is error is a formula that returns true if the value is an error and false if the value is not an error and I say this divided by this analyze this if this is true which means that if this is an error then give me the text error displayed but if this is not an error then just give me these value which is a3 divided by a4 and I hit enter and you can see this displays error because this is an error but what if I just change this value to 2 and I hit enter this returns 5 because now it goes and checks this condition and moves to this value so this is how you can use uh, the functionality of if error if you're working in Excel versions less than 2007 uh, so this is how if error works works in Excel I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day